மாதிரி டுடே வி வில் டாக் அபவுட் தி பிளாட்டர் ரிப்பேர் இட்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் டு நோ அபவுட் தி இனாட்டமி ஆஃப் யூர் நரி பிளாடர் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் ஃபார் ரிப்பேர் anatomically the bladder is a hollow vascular organ it is an important organ of urinary system with the ureters above and urethra below it is divided into four anatomical parts the apex or dome body fundus and neck when is there increased chance of bladder laceration the bladder may be lacerated during hysterectomy pelvic organ prolapse repair and other pelvic surgery when is there increased chance of bladder cystotomy A bladder cystotomy can occur during transvaginal, transabdominal or laparoscopic surgery and the principle of repair are the same. What is the basic principle of successful outcome? Prompt recognition and repair of the bladder laceration typically allows healing without sequelae. What is the clinical presentation of the patient with a bladder injury? Classic triad of the symptoms and signs that are suggestive of bladder injury are first of all suprapubic pain and tenderness, difficulty in or inability of passing urine and thirdly the hematuria. How to diagnose the bladder injury? First of all urine dribbles out in the operation field. Secondly hematuria. 95% of the bladder injury have gross hematuria. that is why it is always advisable to ask ancillary staff in the ot to check the urine color whenever there is doubt about the bladder injury even if there is no spill of the urine in operative field now what dye do we use for this if at any time there is doubt about the bladder injury it can be confirmed by installation of methylene blue indigo carmine or sterile milk of 300 to 400 ml into the bladder Now we will talk about the steps of the bladder repair. First of all, identify the extent of the injury by grasping each edge of the tear with a clamp and gently stretching it. Determine if injury is close to the bladder trigone and confirm that both ureteral orifices are intact. Dissect the bladder of the lower uterine segment with a fine scissor or with a sponge on the clamp. Debride all non-viable tissue and overlying fat and free approximately 2 cm circle of the bladder tissue around the tear. Uh, repair of the bladder injury can begin once the laceration is well visualized and the surrounding detrusor muscle is exposed. Now, start bladder repair in two layers by closing bladder mucosa with a running 3-0 absorbable suture such as Vicryl or Chromic. Do not use permanent suture here. Next come the repair of detrusor layer. So close the detrusor layer with a running locking 2-0 Vicryl suture. It's very important to ensure that sutures do not enter the trigone area. Next, test the integrity of the closer by filling the bladder with saline via Foley's catheter to make sure there is no significant areas of leakage at the suture line. If there are, reinforce that area with interrupted 2-0 Vicryl suture to ensure a watertight seal. Place a closed suction pelvic drain in the perivesical space and intraperitoneal pelvis. If doubtful, refer for urogram. Close the abdomen in routine fashion. How would you provide the post-operative care? First of all, continue an IV antibiotic through the hospital stay. and that is also based on the surgical findings secondly remove the pelvic drain when its output has minimized generally after 48 to 72 hours thirdly retain the foley's catheter for at least 10 to 14 days to facilitate healing of the defect how to do the follow up of the patient first of all instruct patient to return in 7 to 10 days for the removal of the stitches and check the wound Secondly, obtain cystogram 10 to 14 days after surgery. If normal, remove the catheter. Thirdly, advise the patient to return to the normal activity within 4 to 6 weeks after the surgery. Now, what are the expected complications during bladder repair? First of all, persistent or recurrent urinary extravasation. Secondly, wound dehiscence. Thirdly, hemorrhage. Pelvic abscess. Intra-abdominal infection. Urinary tract infection. low bladder capacity urinary urgency now how to deal with the medical legal issues in relation to the bladder injury from medical legal point of view it is wise to include a description of identification of the bladder and ureter in the operation record if bladder injury sustained during dissection of the adhesion it may be defensible 
if bladder is an um, abnormal position for example high up the uterus then injury is much more likely to occur in such case the damage caused by the bladder would not be negligence but on the other hand if there is no abnormal anatomy but the bladder is still injured it may invite penalty and if the intraoperative injury is not recognized during operation it may invite penalty so the wise step is to discuss the bladder injury related problem with the patient while counseling her for the gynecological or obstetric surgery so thank you so much that was all about the bladder repair subscribe on obstetrics and gynae allah hafiz